Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And today we have another special guest, friend of the channel. He's been on multiple times. Um, Mr. Dirk Libby from Cinema Blend. Right here to talk. Disney 23, Universal. On a whole bunch of good stuff. Let's get right to it. So how are you, Mr. Libby? Doing, doing well, man. That was nice. The production value on this show has gone up since the last time I was here. <laughs> I know. We've invested hundreds of millions of dollars into it. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, look, and you got the cool new backgrounds here, too. You know, we're, we're really, really sticking it in here. You know, man, and, hey, nice mug. What is that? A Boston Celtics uh, mug? Pixar Studios. Oh, that's right. That looked like the Celtics logo. Picked like, up, as uh, to shame you. Picked up at the the company store in Emeryville. I've gotten to go to the gotten to go to the Pixar Studios Ooh. a couple of times. Oh yeah, because you're you're kind of close. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm the, you know, in addition to being the theme park guy, I also do cover movies, and I'm the one who's I'm the one guy in Northern California. Everybody else is <laughs> all over the country, so I'm you know I've gotten the call to go to Pixar a few times just because I'm the closest one. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually very cool. So, you'll be here, and if you speak of NorCal, you'll be in SoCal soon for D23, just like in three weeks. How stoked are you for I this? I am. I've actually adventure. never been to the. I've, I've never been to the show before, so I'm actually really excited about it. I didn't go. I didn't go a couple of years ago, and everybody was like bugging me. They were like, "Hey, where are you?" And and mm -hmm. like people that I've met and people that I haven't met who wanted to meet me. Uh, so I made sure that I, I grabbed a ticket. I'm mostly just going, I mean, I may do some, I'm sure some work will result from being there, but officially I'm just mm -hmm. going as a fan. Um, yeah, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I know you can, you can write an article. Probably you'll, you'll probably have ideas for multiple articles just oh, from yeah. going as a fan. So definitely <laughs> plenty of work can happen there. Yeah. I wanted to, I've never been either. I wanted to go this year. It sold out so fast and like, 3.5 seconds so i didn't even attempt and then yeah um, no i, I was i was lucky i had at the time i had i had far more luck getting d23 tickets than i did uh oogie boogie last year i was in the queue last year for like what 12 hours and it sold oh out gosh. and i never got in uh this year i didn't buy a ticket but i could have it was much easier i don't know what happened yeah and yeah i went to oogie boogie last year but luckily didn't wait in the line shout out to sean ranking the mouse over there he actually secured my ticket for me so he waited he's, he's he waited good at that line. i need to he i i had talked to him about d23 tickets in case i didn't mm -hmm. get in i was like mm -hmm. hey if you get in grab me one but i i got in before he did yeah you know yeah i, I don't know how he does it he's for all those things he just and then he's able to not just get like a couple for him and and his wife but he always gets like these mega group tickets i'm like geez i don't know how you secure so many tickets well but i mean i think he, he's I like mean, my go-to yeah well i mean i think he he buys the max whatever that he's allowed to get because he knows that he'll have people that will want them mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah which is smart because like he's like i feel like i'll never have to wait in line again i'll just have to wait hey, sean i'll pay you just wait wait for me <laughs> Oh man, because I feel like for those you have to have like ten tabs open sometimes, and it's yeah. just that's a lot. And they always happen when I'm at work, so I'm like, I can't do that, <laughs> man. So at D23, what? Oh, it's your first time, so you never been. So besides the park panel, I guess what are you most excited for other than the parks? Other than the parks, um. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I'm definitely interested in the, you know, the, the movie studios panel and what's coming up there. Mm -hmm. That is not, that is a big part of what I do for work in addition to theme park mm -hmm. stuff. So just getting a little more detail on what's going on with the movies that we know about. Um, we'll see what happens with Marvel, like with Martin, you know, because Marvel is going to be at Comic-Con and they say mm -hmm. they're going to announce stuff. So there may not be a lot of new announcements for Marvel stuff at D23. Uh, but even if even if the Marvel stuff is kind of you know done, there's still going to be plenty of you know Disney animated animated studio stuff, live action stuff, Star Wars mm -hmm. stuff. That's another area mm -hmm. where you know it looks like they're finally gearing back up to really put some movies out again for the first time Thank in goodness, years. Thank goodness it's been uh, uh, like since five years so far. Yeah, 
Yeah, it has. Um, so I'm, you know, definitely looking forward to that stuff. And then other than that, um, I don't know, you know, I, I put myself in the lottery for a few different panels that I thought would be cool. I haven't heard back whether I got in, so but we'll find out. And, and uh, I'm sure there will be plenty to keep me entertained throughout the weekend. Yeah, because I know they're expanding the show floor this year because they're moving the you know, some of the steps in. The Honda Center, so there should be a lot of cool, like, uh, boots and merch merchants out there. Are you also going to Comic Con because I uh, for like, uh, you know, for media because I know you do cover movies, so are you on the yeah? Comic -Con? I'm I'm not doing Comic Con this year. Uh, Cinema Blend will have a presence, we are sending some folks, but uh. But I'm I'm just not one of them, which I am fine with. I did do Comic Con for Cinema Blend for a couple of years, uh, and it is a lot of fun, but it is absolutely exhausting. <laughs> so I'm not I don't feel too bad about not getting to go this year uh, because it's it's a lot of hard work. I I appreciate what the folks who are going are going to be doing because it's going to be it's going to be a lot, especially with Marvel coming back. Like I, mm -hmm. I was. I was there in whatever it was, 2019 or so, when Marvel mm. did a big panel. Um, mm. And like, I mean, and I wasn't even in the room. I was back at the hotel, but I was just writing story after story of all the stuff that was being announced. Um, Ooh, so yeah, that sounds, it was, sounds, it's, it's, sounds it's, a, it's a lot hey, of work. hectic. Yeah. Yeah, man. So at the parks panel, what, uh, what do you think's happening here? So it's 90 minutes. What do you think is going to get Ooh. announced for real? Blue sky repeats. What do you think is happening? Here? You know, it's. I mean, that's that's such a hard, especially with the last couple of years with everything being very blue sky focused. It's hard to guess. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I do think after you know after a couple of years of blue sky and a bit of frustration from fans who want stuff a little bit more, you know, confirmed. I do think we mm -hmm. are going to get some answers this year i think i mean i think they have to if they if mm -hmm. if they don't there's going to be some really big questions because there isn't a lot you know there isn't a lot announced for the future right now as far as exactly firm, firm stuff it's like mm -hmm. um so i think we have to get some of that um i mean i think i think we'll get um some real detail on tropical americas at animal kingdom because i think that that mm -hmm. appears to be the next big thing uh, mm -hmm. in Orlando. Um, so, I mean, we know it'll, we know it will be tropical Americas, but they've never confirmed specifically what's happening inside the land. I think we'll get some detail on what that is, what the attractions are going to be, what, the, what IP mm -hmm. they're going to use. Um, I think whatever beyond big thunder is going to be, we'll mm -hmm. get, a, it'll get a name. Um, we probably won't get much more than that, but I think we'll get, mm -hmm you know, a decision on, you know, is it going to be a villain's land? Is it going to be Coco or something else? Like whatever it's mm -hmm. going to be, I think they'll give us that. Um, and then after that, I mean, I think we're going to get a new, I think we're going to get a, a parade at Magic Kingdom, whether mm -hmm. that is something brand new or like Main Street Electrical Parade coming back. That I can't guess, but I think there will be a parade announcement. Um, because that park, that park needs something, whether it's mm -hmm. a replacement for festival of fantasy, which is long in the tooth or, or just the return of a nighttime parade, because people like that. I think we'll get something mm -hmm. there. Um, I think we'll get some, you know, well, I mean, we'll get some international details. I think probably mm -hmm. like world of frozen in Paris, we'll probably get, you know, like an opening date or something in that close something close to it we know that's coming early next year um and then after that um also i, I also on on that i think maybe some maybe some info on like the new tomorrowland at, at tokyo uh -huh. oh, working yes. on that yeah. so we might get some stuff on that um and then land i have no idea like <laughs> Because it's it's just very confusing there. Um, I feel I, I think we may get some more detail on what the Avatar experience is going to be, because mm -hmm. um, they keep hyping that that's coming, but they have never given mm -hmm. us any 
info on what that what what that means. Is it a ride? Is it a land? Is it we don't know. Um, and then assuming that the Avengers e-ticket is still in development, which I guess it is, <laughs> hopefully we will get something on that. We'll get some sort of a, you know, opening in 2027 or whatever it's going to be. Um, you know, I'm hoping that we will get uh, more, you know, a lot more at Disneyland. Um, maybe mm -hmm. some specifics on Disneyland Forward, you know, what lands are we going to get? Um, I don't necessarily expect we're going to hear that, but that's that's on my wish list. Because um, some of that stuff is going to be so far out that they're probably yeah, not going to exactly. want to talk too much about it. I mean, that's I mean, that whole project is the next decade. So uh, but we may mm -hmm. get, you know, whatever the first steps of that. And they'll and they'll probably rope in stuff like Avatar and Avengers Campus as part of Disneyland mm -hmm. Forward, even though really it shouldn't be considered that the way that they've been talking mm -hmm. about it. Um, but I think they'll probably, you know, sort of it, it's all going to be called that. Uh, and so we'll see. Um, but I mean, that's, you know, and then there might be some other stuff, you know, if Spaceship Earth is ever going to get, you know, refurbished. I know. You know, the, 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 the canceled... You know, they were going to do that and then they canceled it, but it's not like the ride's getting any younger. So mm -hmm. I feel like something there is possible and we may get an announcement on that, but I don't, that's, that's a little bit further out and, and I'm, I'm a little less certain on that one. Yeah. You know, I think you're pretty spot on with your predictions there. Um, I hope so. I think that they we'll might, get, might get an, uh, an update or probably more with some concept art for test track maybe another scene there since that's yeah construction. yeah that's that's yeah um, we may we may get we may get some well we may we may very well get some concept art and you know and a, a little detail on what the what the new version of the ride is going to look like and i think we'll definitely get a tiana opening date hopefully for disneyland oh um, yes absolutely i did not i forgot, and, forgot about that one but yes we will almost we will almost certainly any other get, get that. Because you know, yeah, maybe there's some other critter country updates. Because you know, we uh, just announced what uh, 20 minutes ago here was Hungry Bear be <laughs> renamed to Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree, which is I'm so excited for because I love barbecue. So I uh, will be eating yeah. every visit. <laughs> I think I think that's. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, and then see if I mean with with that getting with that. Sorry, Oop. sorry, I'm losing some. Technical issues there. Um, oh, no yeah, I think I think that's that's a you know probably going to happen as well. I mean, with with Hungry Bear getting getting uh, a bit of a refurb, you know, a lot more of Critter Country might be getting getting a bit more of a facelift than we were necessarily expecting. So we'll see. The new restaurant sounds good. I'm you know I'm glad that barbecue is coming back to Disneyland. Yeah, barbecue is like my one of my favorite types of food, so I'm very excited for that. I also think this Critter Country project, whether they mention it or not, I do think they're going to integrate some Disneyland Ford prep in it, you know, because you know, the bridge will eventually be over there. So I think they're going to, you know, whether it's underground work or maybe widening the walkways a little bit, I do think some of this project is kind of in prep for that, which is pretty exciting. That's true. <laughs> yeah. But, um, Maybe also we'll get some, because, you know, they confirmed the Autopia stuff. So maybe we'll get some concept art for that, the uh, 20 electrification of Autopia. Um, that'd be nice to get a little piece of concept art, see what the, maybe what the cars look like. I wonder if they'll do, uh, do the, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest auto guy. Do they have to do new cars entirely, or can they just rip out the engines and refurb the current cars to make it electric? How does that? You know, I, I, that, that's a good question. I mean, I don't know enough about the Autopia cars specifically to know mm -hmm. how that would work. I would certainly think that, that re, you know, refurbing them and reusing them is at least possible. But, you know, but it also might be cheap. <laughs> Depending on how expensive it is to do that, it might actually be easier yeah. and cheaper to just build new ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause so my uh, Autopia idea, and it's never going to happen, but my Autopia idea yeah, with this, would be obviously obviously brand new cars and really like remake the attraction, like not just get the new cars, but maybe like you know, shorten or extend the track, or maybe like shorten the track 
towards the Fantasyland side, but make up for lost track by having like ripping open the Interventions building and having like an indoor scene. That'd be kind of cool, right? Have the Autopia Ooh. tracks go inside the Interventions and come back out. So, and you know, kind of shift the track down south so you have some space for fantasy and expansion. Then you added this cool little indoor scene for Autopia. It could be all futuristic because of the electric cars. I know it never would happen, but that sounds really, really cool. It's not like, I mean, yeah, I, I, I would agree with you. It is probably not going to happen, but I like the yeah. idea. And at least that would get some use out of the Interventions building. It would be like, exactly because it seems you know. clear they're not putting a new traction there. So I'm like, uh, at least use the top portion of it, you know, it. and then, or even yeah. if they did put a new attraction there and have the Autopia cars go around it, it would add some nice kinetic energy. But, but at the very least, I'm curious what the new cars will look like because it would be nice to have some non -moder modern, non gas guzzling, loud, noisy machines uh, on that track. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if any new scenes will pop up as well. And I'm curious if it will be still be sponsored by Honda. Like, will Honda be paying half of it, like, you know, GM is doing for Test Track? Because I think I think part of the reason that inspired this, I think the Honda thing is, like, uh, sponsorships, like, expiring and they're renewing or something or something. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean it, I'm, I'm sure somebody is, is sponsoring it, whether it's Honda or somebody else that is trying to get behind, you know, all electric vehicles. Um, so, and, you know... Sponsorships are a big part, have always been a big part of Disney attractions and part of what sort of greases the wheels to make things actually happen. So it would not, I'm sure somebody is sponsoring it. I know who's not sponsoring it, it's Mr. Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, uh, I I don't expect he is interested in giving Disney any money uh, at the moment. That is not, not likely. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so I think it'll be pretty exciting at D23. And I'm curious because you know, you'll be in the, the pant of the uh, Honda Center itself. And now there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on besides the main like panel. So that'd be cool to see. I'm curious what that experience entails. Like, I know there'll be some musical performances and stuff. So, I feel like that, I feel like it'll be pretty fun. Um, and it sounds like they got the transportation covered with shuttles between the convention center and Honda Center. So, um, I hope it works out yeah, well. It'll, it'll, it'll be, well. but with but with so many people, it's going to be very interesting to see how well that works. Yeah, I, I hope I hope the shuttles mean like actual like what they do now, the, like actual city buses with the toys, and just have them like all lined up. Cause that, mm -hmm. I feel like that'd be pretty. Cause well, that's that's what twelve thousand people that's going in the Honda Center there. Something like that. that ooh, that's a lot of people to shuttle. Yeah, and only a people mover. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, hey, if only there was such a thing. <laughs> I know that'd be cool, right? A people mover monorail take you right over to the Honda Center. And then up the street at Universal, which I hope you're making an appearance to this time. Sounds like you're busy. I don't think you'll be able to make it to. Yeah, you're probably trip. not on this trip. But um, you know, we got yeah, you know, we got a new roller coaster coming. We got some city walk stuff coming. We got a new hotel coming. Um, exciting stuff there. Have you been to Super Nintendo World yet? I'm 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 yeah. not sure. You have. I was, I was there. I I I was there for the opening when they when they opened it. Um, and good, I've been good, there, good, good. and I've been there once, maybe twice since. I'm trying to remember. Um, but yeah, no, I've been there a couple of times. It's I, you know, it's a. I always give I like I've I've interviewed folks at at Universal Creative a couple of times, and I always give them a hard time about just the size of Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, mm -hmm. And I do it out of love because I'm always impressed with what they're able to do with the lack of space that they're always dealing with. Um, but that's, and I, I feel the same way about Super Nintendo world. It's like, you know, yeah. Is it, you know, as big as they have in Japan or they're going to have in Orlando? No, absolutely not. But considering how little space they had, I think it's amazing. Um, I love it. It's great. You know, yeah, and, cool. And, and I love you. What do you think about this? Uh... Studios Hollywood is just a fun, it's a, it's a fun park. What do you think about this upcoming Sorry. roller coaster?
Uh, what do you think about this upcoming roller coaster? I today? think it's about time that somebody had the idea to. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think it's about time that that uh, you know somebody figured out that they should use the Fast and Furious license to do something that goes fast and is furious. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think it's True. I'm I'm, ex I'm excited for it. Uh, it it sounds like a, it sounds like a fun coaster, and again, it's an incredibly creative use of Universal space, and I mm -hmm. and that I think is amazing. I know they they're literally using the hillside, which like really if you think about it, can't be used for anything else, like ride wise, because right. it'd be really hard to make a ride on that tiny hillside a roller coaster. So. It's, like really a net gain for the park, which is cool. Big, um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a big gain. And I'm curious about. I mean, I know that they've announced they're using like special sound dampening mm -hmm. technology because you know, and that's you know, there's a working movie studio next door, so noise like noise is the reason that we have never gotten an outdoor coaster in that park. Mm -hmm. um, and I, so I think it's super cool that the technology is there that a allows them to do that and i think the opportunities for that just in roller coasters in general is really interesting yeah and the whole the whole uh you know cosmic rewind style spinning a lot of new technologies in coaster development that can help uh, make lots of things possible which is good um that's what i'm even excited for you know disney i have been saying i hope for like disneyland forward we get like not too crazy of a coaster but maybe something like a like a family inverted coaster or something like that um that'd be pretty cool or like some like different type of coasters types of disney is not usually like known for it but i'm um, with disney with new technology and disney's lots of money i feel like a highly themed like inverted coaster or 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 flying coaster would be mm -hmm. really benefit disney's ips quite a bit that's true <laughs> yeah and a place that has a lot of roller coasters and Six Flags and Knots just merged. And boy, we're seeing, I think, some effects already of that. Name changes or like slight name changes, surcharges going away. Uh, what do you think about the Six Flags, Six Flags merger? Do you think they keep all 42 parks? Um, you have a Six Flags park near you, Discovery Kingdom. Uh, what do you think is going to happen to that park? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be improved? Uh, deteriorated what do you think is gonna happen do you think, can they handle all these 42 parks well i mean i th i think they definitely can i mean you know there's the infrastructure there is to to run each park is already there um you know so and and you know and and to to the degree that they're all you know successful to varying degrees i don't necessarily expect to see any of them go away even you know, I there. I mean, there might be some places where you've got a couple that are really close together, but for the most part, they're still spread out. You know, but now the as a single company, they have they have everything uh, mm -hmm. sort of covered as far as as far as having. You know, there, there is now a there is now a Six Flags Park near anybody in the country, um, which is a, a pretty nice way to do that for for them. Uh, you know, I mean, as far as the future goes, I mean, we will see. I mean, that, that's been the big question, right? Is what what's the you know, is the new con, con, is the new company going to be more like Cedar Fair, uh, mm -hmm. or is it going to be more like Six Flags? Um, and people have different opinions about which one of those would be better. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, I mean, I, I it will be. I think I think it, it will be curious to see just kind of where things go from here. Um, you know, because there are, you know, like, I mean, Knotts, you know, Knotts is one of the few from either company that I would think of as a theme park, as opposed to an amusement park, um, mm -hmm. which, I mean, the distinction there is slight, but it exists. Um, mm -hmm. and it will be interesting to see kind of where, where things go from there. If they, uh, if there are, you know, if they, they, you know, try to, Differ if, if they try to maybe go more to, in the theme park direction to compete mm -hmm. with Disney Universal, or if they go the other direction to try to differentiate themselves and do them and and market themselves more strictly as you know amusement park, thrill ride, that kind of stuff. Um, 
I mean, I think that's going to be kind of the big question for me. Um, and I, you know, and I have no idea what, what the answer is going to be, but you know, I think, yeah. I think there, you know, the, the new company is, I think is probably in as good a shape as they could be at this point. So we will see. Yeah. I'm very curious about what's going to happen to not, but, um, anyway, it all to move forward because, uh, yeah, it's such a charming park. So I hope, uh, I hope they continue to charm. I hope they just don't destroy things for new roller coasters. I hope they can fit roller coasters in the creative ways when they put one in. Yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah. Like I said, yeah, because they're, because that's the only one that I would even necessarily think of as a theme park. It is the one I'm also a little curious about just because, yeah, if it, if it decide if they do decide to go in a more amusement park focused direction, that's the park that's going to be, that's going to suffer. It's going to change the most. So we'll see. And I'm also curious about like just operations, you know, if Six Flags operations will improve, like actual Six Flags parks, um, maybe they'll take on those Cedar Fair operations or vice versa. Um, just the way how everything operates, cleanliness, cleanliness of things. I do notice it's like not Cedar Fair parks seem to be more clean than current Six Flags parks. So I'm hoping stuff like that though will kind of reverberate to all six flags parks and a little step up in the cleanliness and maybe more shade department in terms yeah. of park beautification and stuff so like that that part is particularly exciting for like magic mountain which really needs it <laughs> and i'm not sure about discovery kingdom i've never been there though yeah and i haven't i honestly i have to say i have not even been there in in quite some time so <laughs> so it's even hard for me to guess um but i mean I, you know the other thing is i mean it's going to take it's going to take time for really uh, for anything really significant to change. You know, I've mm -hmm. I've been through my share of corporate, you know, mergers and buyouts mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And you know, the the first step is always to not touch anything. Um, yeah. You know, gen generally speaking, when one company buys another, it's because it's you know it's because that what the you know what that other company is doing is working, and. Mm -hmm. And if and they don't want to touch anything because they don't want to they don't want that to change. Um, so it's I think mean, it's going to be a case of like I think looking at over the new company and you know figuring out what's really not working and that's the stuff that's going to change the most. And the other stuff, it's mm -hmm. like hey, you know, if this park is profitable, if this park is making money, if the customers are happy, we're not going to you know like we could change things, but if we did, we might actually make things worse so we're just not going to touch it yeah that's smart that's a that's a definitely a, a smart plan there and um what's not working at disneyland is a uh, cast member wages over here Ooh. oh yeah yeah so that could, just that could make for an interesting d23 week <laughs> yeah because they just voted uh, they give the authorization to strike because it's going to meet up on Monday and Tuesday. Um, again, with his and officials, hopefully, it can come to some nice agreement. Because, yeah, I definitely agree that the cast members say they make the magic happen, so they should uh, definitely get a living wage or a higher wage. So they can don't have to sleep in their cars and uh, while working yeah. at Disneyland. What is your take on the Disneyland cast member situation, possible strike, and all that good stuff? Well, um, I mean, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, of course you know, the cast members should be paid well. Um, I think there's, it sounds like there's some, there are some issues between Disneyland and the cast members uh, specifically around, you know, I guess Anaheim has passed a living wage law since mm -hmm. the last contract. Um, and so because of that, I think Disneyland is going to have to pay them more anyway. Um but the cast members are, you know, but that even that amount isn't necessarily enough. So Disney, so the cast members are looking for looking for more. Disneyland is looking at the fact that they're going to have to pay them more anyway, and I'm sure doesn't want to pay them any more than they absolutely have to. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I want to, you know, it's not like Disneyland doesn't make money, and you know, I'm not a stockholder. So at the end of the day, you know. As long as Disneyland is profitable, it will con continue to exist. And as long as that's the case, you know, then yeah, the cast the cast members should get paid more. 
because they can be paid mm -hmm. more and the place will still make money and the place will stay open. And that works for me. Um, and, you know, I think the strike authorization, I think is, is, I mean, clearly the strike authorization was done on Friday before they are meeting again on Monday, specifically mm -hmm. because now there's kind of a ticking clock on it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's very intentionally meant as a, as a, you know, as a, as a warning to Disneyland that if they can't come to an agreement, this is what's going to happen. Um, and, and I, and I hope it works at the end of the day, because certainly I don't want to see a strike either. Um, that's going to be a mess. It's going to, it's going to be a problem inside the park. It's going to be a problem inside, you know, and if it lasts for three weeks, then it's happening during D23 when Disney fans from all over the world are converged on Anaheim and will be visiting the parks. You know, there is, you know, the Thursday before the show is supposed to be D23 day at Disneyland. Mm. And the park's going to want to put its best foot forward for all of its biggest fans. And if there's a strike happening, they they won't be able to do that. Um, so certainly, you know, I hope I hope they can come to an agreement that is acceptable to the cast members. I know. I mean, I think I think the last agreement uh, was not necessarily well loved by a, a lot of the cast members. Um, which I think is another reason why they're probably looking for more this time around. They're probably looking for, you know, a lot, you know, more than they might be year to year, because I think last year maybe didn't get to where the cast members wanted. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I hope, I hope that it can all work out. You know, I hope, I hope the cast members get what they want. I hope Disneyland can, <laughs> Disneyland can spin it so that they don't, so that, politically they can look stronger because at the end of the day that's what they want mm. um you know and i don't care they can go ahead and spin it it's fine as long as the cast members get paid um exactly and uh, and yeah and i and i certainly hope a strike is averted um but but not to the extent that you know the cast members don't get what they want at the end of the day i mean i have tickets to go to the park you know during the week before d23 as well i'm going to be one of those one of those guests uh I hope that everything is great. If it's not, you know, then I think it's worth it. But I also, but certainly uh, it will be, uh, it, it will, it will not be, not, not be the most fun trip if it works out that way, but I'll take that hit. Yeah. Hopefully I give this is what a lot of uh, like four unions is hopefully yeah, they get their, you know, Fair sure, especially because you know Disney just made some agreements with other unions, like the entertainment cast members and other cast members. So hopefully, you know, everyone gets a nice, nice bump in. And also, I know the attendance policy was a problem because that kind of factors in because you know a lot of people have second jobs and maybe they're a little bit late to their Disney job because they're coming back from the first job, and if they have this three strike attendance policy, then it's uh you know really hurts the cast member themselves. So I hope they can um, work a wage, but also the attendance policy, because you know I, I think it's uh, you know, a little bit too harsh for again people who are trying to do make trying to make ends meet. So shout out to the past members. Fingers crossed, you guys get you what you want. Absolutely. Monday next week should be very interesting. So yeah, Mr. Libby, boy, it was great to have you on again. And where can everyone find you? Thank you for having me. If you want them to find you. Oh, uh, well, my writing is at cinemablend.com. Um, I write most of the stories in our theme park section. So if you're reading something there, it's probably written by me. Um, I'm on social media, uh, mostly Twitter slash X, uh, at theme park Dirk. Uh, also, I mean, and I'm on other socials, usually under that same name. I don't use the other ones nearly as much as I probably should, but, uh, but you know. Twitter is what I've gotten used to, so I'm still there. <laughs> hey, yes, find him. He's very active on Twitter, and he has some great stories on Cinema, cinema Blend. Um, and then the rest of his um, staff, too, when, when the different sections, the movie sections and all that good stuff, great site and stuff. You go check it out. As always, if you want to follow me, subscribe, support, become a channel member for early access to videos like these, and otherwise have a epic day. Nice.